Praise God. My name is Moses Koledeare. By the grace of God, I'm the president of Calvary Time Administration International, based in the promotion in Chile. I welcome you, I welcome you, I welcome you. I will bless you, bless your life, bless your ministry, bless everything that has to do about you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our films. I'm talking about Calvary movies. We appreciate it so much. We, we thank God for your life. And as you continue to watch it, doors will open for you. Greatness will be your portion. Enlargement will be your portion. As many of you that are watching and are on their sick beds, I pray for you that healing will touch you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. As many of you that are watching and then you are in one form of depression or the other, I'm telling you that the hands of God will touch you. Is the Lord on the sea? Is the Lord in the heat? Is the Lord in the fire? Is the Lord in the This word, this word was formed With this word man lives Agbarareka Agbarareka Orukoreka Julo Agbarareka Agbarareka Oro to da ye imi ni yon popo opo to pe li ayero bo so gbo kan ko se te kan ko si pa kan ko sagbara kan to bo ri ti re o e ya ma je yan lo oba ma jo ba lo mo se ni toto Bo so gbo kan ko se te kan ko si pa kan ko sagbara kan to bo ri ti re o e ya ma je yan lo oba ma jo ba lo mo se ni toto agbara re ga agbara re ga o oruko re ga julo agbara re ga agbara re o oruko re ga julo spawa pasi pawa is the almighty What is happening? Talk to me. Why? Why? 
I know that you do not have anything to offer but prayers. I only called your assemblies that can give us handsome money. Please help us with this 300,000. Please. There is nothing I can do about it. Please, sir. I served in this church for 22 years. Look, even if you cannot help us with 300,000, please help us with the 100,000. There is nothing I can do about it. There is no finances living in abject poverty. And you are telling me that God is fair and just? No, how is that possible? Well, I've come to the conclusion that there is no God. You think you have money? <laughs> like, seriously? <laughs> you think what you have is money? Oh, wait until but this shows you what real money is. Wait until but this shows you what real affluence is. Wait until but this shows you what money can do. What power is embedded in having money. Wait until but this shows you. Greediness is a terrible thing. Terrible thing. Hmm. Greediness starts from lack of contentment. Show me a man that is greedy and I will show you a man that lacks contentment. For example, if a man is praying for a car, say, God, give me a car, give me a car, I want a car, and God provides that car for him. Oh, he will be so happy. But few weeks after, he will be now, he will be tired of this first one. He will be looking for a more beautiful one. <laughs> and by the time God gives him that second beautiful car that is more beautiful than the first one, what do you think a greedy man will be doing? A third car. Good. That's a good answer, my dear. And that third car, he will desire to get that third car by all means. He will be craving for that third car. After the third car, he will be comparing himself with a man who has three cars. And he will be so desperate to get the third car. If he's praying, it will be on getting that third car. Anything that he's doing, it will be on getting that third car. If you're somebody that works in the office, he will change records just to get the car. He may even falsify figures to get the car. He can do anything to just get that third car. And he will be struggling on how to get the fourth one and the fifth one, mm. by all means. <laughs> In fact, and the next thing the person will be running after is on how to get a limousine or a jet. Oh, jet. <laughs> <laughs> Greediness is a terrible thing. I'm you, sir, to a greedy man, getting those things will be a do or die affair. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, my um, sweetheart, we should not we should not misunderstand the, the whole thing. No. What we are saying here is this: it is not bad, and God does not uh, reject us for, for having good things. It is of God for us to get fine things, but for us to get those fine things, there are conditions that must be met. What are those things? You mean the conditions? A yes. moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned that um, you were a staff of Central Bank of Nigeria. Yes. Precisely. Yes. Precisely. Okay. Why were you fired unceremoniously? Okay. I was not fired. To tell the truth, I fired myself. Oh. <laughs> you fired yourself. How? I suffered a momentary insanity. Momentary insanity. I can't make a head or tail of your submission. I wish um, I understand what you meant. May we not fall into the hands of our enemies. You have already fallen into my hands. I'm your sworn enemy. 
So how did they happen? On that unfortunate oh. <coughs> On that unfortunate day, mm. I was told that I went by myself to the office of the state director I submitted my resignation letter. I was told I can't even recall doing such. A few days later, I collected my entitlement. And like the prodigal son, I spent it on alcohol, on friends of low virtue, and on women. I never knew what I was doing until I spent everything on what I call enjoyment of frivolities until I spent it all. Since then, I've been roaming from one street to another street looking for something, something to eat, something to put in my stomach, something to drink. I've not found anything, I've found nothing in return. I've not found anything. Yeah. You will continue to roam around forever. You will never have money again. Uh, well, um, you will have money again. Please, sir. Please let me have money. A man without money is like it's worse. Ah, it's worse than a monkey in the bush. Please let me have money again. Please let me have money again. Account number. Account number. Eight two. Five five. Sorry, five six. Eight one. Six six. Five two. Five two. Well, I just sent you twenty million. Eh? Uh. Ah. Yeah. Sir. Stand up. Congratulations. 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 Uh, well, we will continue to do what God has sent us to do. It's very important. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Ah, if this is the truth, God, please don't ever, ever wake me up. Ah, I see me. Mm. <laughs> Number one condition is that the blessing must come from God. The blessing must come from God. Read Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get weight, that he may establish his covenant, which is swear unto thy father, as it is this day. Can you see that? The blessing must be from God. Any other blessing that is not from God is fake, is counterfeit. And we are not interested in fake blessings. Number two. The money in your hand, you must realize it. The money in your hands is not actually your money. It is the money of God. God place the money in your hand as a custodian. Don't love the money that God has given you more than the giver of the money. A lot of people, they love the money more than the giver of the money. <laughs> you don't love the money more than the giver of the money. You must love the giver of the money than the money. Read Mark chapter 10, verse 21 to 22. Read it. Mark 10, 21 to 22. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, 
Go thy way, sell whatever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had, he had great possessions. Mm. Can you say that? Went away. He went away grieved. Mm. Painful. Because he had great possession. He lost the possession more than the giver of the possession. He lost the money more than the giver of the money. Number three is self comparison. Self comparison. Yes. People compare themselves. It's one of the things that cause serious greediness is people to be competing. I know of a family. There is a Thai and there is a Kindy. They are twins. Anytime Thai does something, Kindy they want to do the same thing by all means. So desperate because he is comparing himself with his brother. Now look at the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. 2 Corinthians chapter number 10, verse 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are no wise. Hmm. People that compare themselves with themselves are not wise. wise. Because many have compared themselves with some other people and they die. Hmm. And they perish. Don't compare. You are yourself. I will say those that compare themselves with themselves are not wise. May God grant us wisdom in Jesus' name. Another thing that causes Greediness is self-ambition. Self-ambition. I must become a professor. It's good. It's good. But by all means, I must uh, do this. Ambition. He's, the person is not doing it to the glory of God, but he's doing it for the gratification of flesh and self. Self-ambition. They are ambitious, over-ambitious. They are over-ambitious, not overstep our lives for destruction in Jesus' name. Sister Me, I actually came here because Mommy sent for me. I have not come here to see you or your husband. Can you hear the way he was talking out there? I've not come to see you and I've not come to see your husband at all. You should have missed a great opportunity. My husband has been doling away money in millions. He's ready to turn your life around right now. Point of correction, Sister Me. You or your husband cannot turn my life around. Because you don't hold the key to my life. There is someone that holds the key to my life. Who? Jesus Christ, my King. He holds the key to my life. <laughs> you have never been rich. Our other siblings had money, but you have been so poor. You are very correct to my sister. The Bible says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. You have been following Jesus, but you, you had nothing. What is the profit of following Jesus? Without money. What is your profit? Tell me, what is your profit? What shall it profit a man? Who gains the whole world, but loses his soul? Sister, I need you to tell me the answer to that. <laughs> Sweetheart, it is foolishness to be greedy. Read uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 15 to 21. Luke chapter 12, verse 15 to 21. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to be bestowed my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. 
and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods. Lay down for many years. Take thy his, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. <laughs> you know, the story of this man looks very, very simple. It looks very innocent. When you look at this story, if you look at it, and you just have a casual read of this story, you will almost be tempted that this man does not have any offense. Look at it. It looks so, so innocent. The man looks so innocent. What is bad in saying, well, I will walk. My ground has brought fertile leaves. I will, when it is okay, I will pull down a whole band and do the, another one and put all that I've labored in it. He the, the man doesn't seem to have any offense. But if you look at it very, very well, <laughs> the man is foolish. Verse 17 to 19 alone, verse 17 to 19, you will discover that this man mentioned high, 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 six different times. He doesn't know anything about himself. No mention about God. No mention about the church of God. No mention about the, the, the people of God. No mention about tithes. Nothing. He talked about offering. Nothing. All that the man was talking about was nothing but himself and his family. In fact, no mention was made about the extended family. He didn't say, I'm going to remember my mother-in-law. I'm going to remember my father-in-law. I'm going to remember my whole father. It was important to him. What concerns him is nothing but himself and himself and himself. Now, look at verse, uh, verse 20. Read verse 20 again. But God said unto him, God said unto him, Thou fool, thou fool. This night, this particular night, thy soul shall be required of thee. The summary of what is saying that this night you will do what? To you die. will die. Hey, you greedy person looking at me. <laughs> you have labored. You have worked very hard. You put a lot of effort in the struggles of life. So much. Now you have all the money. Now you have fat bank accounts. Now you have the fleets of cars. Now you have the beautiful houses. Now you have everything. But you don't have God. Your thought is not about God. Always remember Luke chapter 12, verse number 20. Say, this night shall your soul be required of thee. Then who will be the owner of all these things that you have gathered? Who will be the owner of the great, great things, plenty things that you have gathered? Who, who will own it? It will be vanity upon vanity. Because one day, one day you will be taken out of your palatial house and they will put you inside a box and they will use a, a nails to nail the box and they will carry you and they will put you inside a six feet hole and they will cover you up and everybody will go back home and you will be left in that soil in that soil of what you use will be all the things that you are gathered the most important thing is gathering unto heaven the most important thing is living for Jesus the most important thing is spending your resources on the things of God Every other thing is vanity upon vanity. Stop being greedy. Stop being greedy. Stop being greedy. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Sweetheart, you have heard about the story of this man. May we not be greedy of anything in Jesus' name. Terrible. I will lose all the money I've spent on this family today. If this woman refuses to collect money from me, or if she refuses to shake my hands, what should I do now? I am finished. Uh, well, um, see, uh, you are the one who 
is going to collect the largest amount. I'm, I, I'm talking about 25 million. 25 million. Imagine what 25 million would do in, in your life. Sir, I am a Christian, a blood washed child of God. I don't do my things anyhow. <laughs> I follow the direction of God. And God has specifically told me not to collect any money from you, not even a dime. Hmm. Time is going. You need to amount to something in life. Don't let this opportunity slip off your fingers. Yes, yes. The finger of God is not pointing me to your direction. He's not pointing me to collect any money from you. I don't follow the direction of me. I follow the direction of the living God. And sister, you see, I won't lose any opportunity. I can't lose any opportunity. Opportunities don't just slip off my hands because I follow God and I know that my time will come. Yes. Uh, yeah. You see, See, um, it, it, it's not like I am, I am begging, but look, I'm also begging. Now, let me help you. See, I'm increasing it to 30 million. I mean, 30 million should do 30 million. 30, you, do you know? Uncle, I said I'm not collecting any money from you. Not by force. You must collect this one. No, no, like, I, 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 want, I want to bring you out of poverty. I want you to have a good life. I want you to experience what money can do, the changes that money can do this money. For so crying out loud, I don't want any money. You will want this one. Now by force? It's by, uh, you must collect this one. Why by you force? Yeah, it's by force. I said I don't want. It is by force. It's not by force. You can't force me to collect money from you. It, it is by force. So. Not by force. It is by force. Sister, leave me alone. It's not by force. Point number six. six. Greediness kills. Greediness is a killer. A lot of rich men, because they have money, they feel that they can eat anything. They eat this, they eat in an hotel, they eat in other hotel, they go to this city, they eat, they are invited to programs, BB programs, they give them plenty of things, they eat, they keep on eating. They eat plenty fish, they drink plenty milk, they eat plenty, uh, plenty of everything. They eat a lot of carbohydrate and they take little water. <laughs> Many of them are not aware that as they are eating all these things, they are actually eating poison. A lot of people have used their teeth to kill themselves. They've used their teeth to destroy their own lives. They use their teeth to kill themselves? Yes. Yeah, some, some wives, because their husbands have money and because they have money, they feel that, okay, let me make my husband happy. They give the husband a lot of sugary things, cakes. And the man here, this man we are talking about now, is getting close to 60, 70. And they begin to pump his system with a lot of things. And the man begins to eat, 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 eat. The truth of the matter is this. Many rich men are actually glutons. They are actually glutons. They eat and eat without exercise. They hardly do any exercise at all. They keep on eating and they eat until they die. There is a man like that in the Bible. Have you heard about a man called Jeshurun? No, you have not heard of him. <laughs> a lot of people don't, have not heard about this man, Jeshurun. The man who used food to kill himself. See, sister says the man who used food to kill himself. The man who used, used food to, to kill himself. himself. <laughs> that is just wrong. The story is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse number 15. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse number 15. Let's go hear what the Bible has to say about this man. Deuteronomy 32, verse 15. But Jeshurun works fat. This one was fat and kicked. And kicked. Thou are waxing fat. He has waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. He has grown thick. Thou fat art everywhere. Covered with he is covered This one is laps everywhere for just fat. Because of chocolate. Plenty of chocolate. 
You see a man of 60 years eating chocolate. <laughs> plenty meat. Everything plenty. But no exercise. Then he forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Just wrong. Eat and eat and eat. You, have, you, you get the money that God has given you, not for you to kill yourself. Be mindful of the way and the tense you eat. A lot of Christians, especially ministers of God, are dying very, very young because they eat a lot. They don't have a control over what they eat. May you not be a victim of your own mishap in the name of the Lord Jesus. Number seven, which is the last point. You notice that greedy people are exploiters. They want to exploit and exploit others. They exploit others to get themselves rich. They even like to collect from the needy and hide to themselves. Many of our pastors in the churches today are actually greedy people. They collect money from the members, collect money from the members. Let me tell you this. Do you know that one of the most expensive schools are schools owned by missionaries? Schools owned by many of these are big churches. And their children can't go to those churches, to those schools. They can't. They can't afford the school fees. Many of our leaders are actually loving what is quite us. And God is wanting them to repent. God is wanting them to repent. When a greedy man sees you rising, he says, he notice that you are rising. I'm not talking about pastors now. When a greedy man notices that you are rising, he looks at what is making you to rise. And you know what he does? He now goes and technically and systematically search for that thing that is making you to rise, collect it and add it to himself so that you will be, you, you, you will be greater. Don't be an exploiter. Don't be an exploiter. Anything you have in this world, you will live in this world. Please, don't exploit others to rise. Those who exploit others to rise, later discover that they are nothing but the product of great manipulation and promotion by the devil. May the devil not promotate you, manipulate you towards destruction in Jesus' name. Those are the characteristics of the greedy people. May God help us in Jesus' name. That we will not be greedy, so that we will not end a disastrous life. But unfortunately, many of the many people that are watching me right now are greedy. May God deliver you from the spirit of greediness, so that you will live a happy and victorious life for Jesus. Jesus. My Lord Spiritual, I lost it. I lost it terribly. I was able to deceive them to collect the money from me and to give me an answer. But this Teresa, she did not only refuse to collect the money from me, she also refused giving me an answer. All my powers and my enchantments never worked. How do I help this unfortunate situation? Please help me. Too late! Too late to cry! When the head is cut off, you have split your neck on the ground. And it is not possible to gather it again. Yes. You must suffer demotion. I mean, Double demotion. Ha! Ah, my lost preacher, please don't do this to me. <laughs> you first of all promised to kill that firebrand Christian by name Williams. You make us open the mouth of the gods in anticipation to suck Williams' blood. But your promise is yet to be fulfilled. Where is the blood of Williams? Where is the blood of Williams? I say, where is the blood of Williams? My lost preacher, I'll get it for the gods of this confraternity. Get it for the 
gods. Get it for the gods. Get it for the gods. Secondly, you promise to bring the blood of the siblings of your wife, Margaret, to the gods of this confraternity. It is still a pile in the air. And you know, a pile in the air, and a pile in the air is a worthless pile. It never gets to the gaping mouth of the gods. Where, Where is the blood of the siblings of the wife? The, the gods need it. Where is the blood of the siblings of your wife? That the gods need it. We are in the blood of the siblings of your wife. The gods need it. Like I said, I made effort. I made frantic effort. It's just that my effort did not yield the desired results. <laughs> my judgment is this. You will be demoted. And you will die a month after the demotion. Yes, I have spoken, and it is final. Please, another chance, another chance. Please. I will give it all it takes. I will make it up for you. Please, please. Kukuruku. Kukuruku! Kukuruku! Ah! My lord spiritual, if you should go through the records of body, you will discover that it's a first offender. I have never stepped on the tail of the standing order of this confraternity. My lord spiritual, I plead that you turn that judgment with mercy. Clear mercy, clear mercy, clear mercy, my Lord. Lord. Your plea accepted because it's the first offender. But to become the richest in your town must cost you something serious. You must pay a higher price for it. My Lord Spiritual, you know I am the third richest man in my town and I want to be the number one richest man. I want everyone to bow down to me. Yes, this is the price. You must bring the blood of an undergraduate and his genital and if you can get his liver, the better. This must be done within three days. Three days. Three days. That is the simplest thing in life. I'll bring those items to you in three days. You know, being the richest man is a task that must be done. Yes, a task that must be done. You better not fail this time. The gods are testy. The gods are testy. The gods are testy. I declare this meeting close for the day. Where or not will I get a young boy for the sacrifice? And it must be in three days' time. Truly, I want more money. I, I want to be the richest person in my town. Hmm. This is a tax that needs to be done. Who should I use for this sacrifice? Ah, oh. Ah. You are here. Why are you not sleeping? Ah. Yeah. Why are you not sleeping? Uh, talk to me now. What is happening? A penny for your thoughts. No. Uh, I, I don't need a penny. I need billions. Uh, billions. <laughs> you have not told me how you made your hundreds of millions. 
you are talking about billions. <laughs> Let me disclose her to her. Who knows? She could be of help. After all, she loves money. And she's greedy. Dear, talk to me now. What is happening? Dear, why are you wearing a drop continents? Was it because of what I told you? <sighs> so, all the money we have been spending in this house, all the money you have been doling out to people, all the money you have been spending on my mother and my siblings, are actually blood money. Give me some seconds. Give me some seconds. <sighs> I don't know. This is nothing like blood money. No, like, look at these ones now. Can you pick the one with the blood stain? No talk. No. How does this look different to the monies that people have been spending? How? Oh my God. Tell me when it has become bad. For me to love and cherish my wife to the point that I put her in absolute confidentiality. Must I lose sleep because I told you the secret of my wealth? What I told you happens everywhere. People do these things. I mean, people belong to club, they belong to confraternity, they belong to uh, cult. Just because they want to stay afloat and maintain their level of wealth. Ah, yeah. You are driving me crazy. You are driving me mad. People belong to society and club. Not courts. For crying out loud. <sighs> See, this is nothing but academic exercise and semantics. You're only trying to find the difference between six and half a dozen. You see, court, clubs, confraternity, societies. They're only different names for the same thing. No, today you have a choice to either remain a pauper or you step up to prosperity. You can't make money today without blood. No blood, no prosperity. No blood, no prosperity. No blood, no prosperity. You see, Many businessmen, contractors, CEOs of big companies, people who, who control conglomerates, politicians, celebrated ministers, many of them, they shed blood just to access some level of wealth and position. Sit there, they look. You better liberate yourself from this slavery mentality, this proper mentality. I get cerebral emancipation to reality. What do I do now? What do I do now? Come on board. Yes. And join the car. That will take us to the ground of our prosperity. Dear, 
as from today. I put my hands in your hands. I put my heart in your heart. I mix my blood with your blood. Whatever you hate, I will hate. Whatever you love, I will love. We will make it together at any cost. We will be big together in life. Jesus, bye bye. Satan, devil, here I come. There are lots and lots of wickedness in this world. Most people are not interested in working hard to make money. People want to get rich quickly. But they are not interested in working hard. GD, this is the age when people make charms. They consult all medium and all forms of diabolical practices to make money. Youth use clothes of their victims, underwears of ladies, body parts of people in what they call Yahoo Plus. People eat shit of people. They drink blood. They eat human flesh just because of money. The only way of escape is coming to Jesus. He gives protection. He gives a new life. A life without Christ is in crisis. Are you willing to give your life to Christ? I am not in crisis, man. My life is not in crisis. <laughs> Look at me. I'm an African man to the core. I am an African man to the core. I refuse to be manipulated by the colonial mentality that God is full soul on religious bigotry. I hate religion. I won't believe in religion and I can never believe in religion. Let me educate you. Karma says, religion is the opium of the people. The brain of the oppressed and the heart of the heartless. That is the African men believe. I am not heartless. I am as bold as lion. I am as strong as lion. I'm a man of timber and caliber. I'm a caterpillar. I'm a bulldozer that destroys. <laughs> no one can terrorize me. Because I am a terror. I am a terror. Let me sound this note of warning to you. Read my lips. Let this be the last time you will ever preach to me. If you do again, if you do again, you will be a gun. I know say you dey here now why you come here. Bro, you dey play with fire. Skido. Now you dey play with fire. Now you dey play with her. And you know say her heart past fire. Jando. I dey warn you. Madame Mulebe. Jando. I know let me I dey see water dey flow. Now blood I dey let me I dey see. 
But I no one see your blood because you be my guy. But you won't force me. Leave that day alone. Leave that on my babe. Come on your eyes for that dead body. <laughs> now you go come on your eyes for Linda body. Because Linda and my babe. Show me the whining. You the whining. Dango. You just a shake. You the expand chest. I go put that for your body. Woto woto. <laughs> your papa. Your papa no fit. I be one colors. <sighs> Abao, Tanya! Abao, Skidoo, Baba! If you move, come back here! Abao, Snake! Abao! Abao! Let's move! Abao! You guys have done noble. Yeah. Okay. It's more than noble. Ah, you have done incredibly well. Ah, 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 ah. You know what? Eh? No, I'm ah. adding fifty thousand. Ah, yes, to the agreement. Ah, and then you go ahead now and join. Hmm? Please, I would need um. The genitals, I will need the two pumps and also the um, um the liver. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. If you work harder and you work smarter, there will be better days. Oh. Hey, hey, come 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 Let's I forget. Please, I will need the head. Hmm? Because Senator Alabi needs the head. Um, for him to return back to office. Okay, Baba, 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 a, a scheduled meeting with him and in an hour's time maybe an hour one and a half hour's time we have a meeting with him for what exactly uh, for his salvation we can't be watching him this man must be born again jesus said that there are some demons that are so stubborn they won't come out except by fasting and prayer see i believe the demon in habiting Mr. Bode, it belongs to this category. Say, don't go today, please. Please don't go today. Let's organize at least a day fasting and prayer for this man so that we we'll bind that strong man controlling his life. Because I'm afraid for you going to his house without spiritual fortification. Don't be afraid, my dear. Don't be afraid. Because God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given you all the spirit of power, faith, and sound mind. Don't be afraid. Well, Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 says, We should be wise as serpent and harmless as a dove. Proverbs 28 verse 1 says, The righteous are as bold as lion. My dear, we should be as bold as lion. God has not given us that spirit of fear. We should be able to go and fight the kingdom of the devil. We should be able to go and pull down the devil's kingdom down. Let me go and pull down the devil's kingdom down. Ah uh ah, -uh, my dear. He should lay call it Jesus. To bad devil. To call it Jesus. Ah wone. Ah wodanune. God has not given us that spirit of fear. The devil or his agents. You see. He had been an active dodger, dodging me from meeting him. You know, he doesn't want me to meet him. But today, by his own self, he called me and fixed the appointment for about an hour's time. So let me go and meet him. In his house? Yes. Ah, have you forgotten 
the revelation I told you God showed to me about him? See, Mr. Bode is no longer the Bode that I used to know. He has gone deeply into the world of occultism and is now a terrible agent of darkness. He plays and dined on the table of Lucifer. Dear, if you will see him, not definitely not in his house and definitely not now. Now is the day of his salvation. Now is the day of his deliverance. But your spiritual fortification is not enough to encounter this terrible man in his house. Let me go to his house and pull down the kingdom of the devil right in his house. I insist that wisdom is profitable to direct. I also insist that as the scripture says, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. The scripture also says, We shall tread on serpents. If we take any deadly poison, it will not harm us. I insist that I'm not agreeing. I'm not agreeing. And Amos chapter 3, verse 3 says, Can two work together except they agree? No. So since I'm not agreeing with you, please let's drop this issue, please. I insist that I must go to his house now. I have just about one hour more. I also insist that the scripture says, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22, that wives submit to your husband. Fear not. Eh? Fear not, my dear. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. Praying and praying. I know that the Lord will take charge. That man is for Jesus. Hello, sweetheart. Please come. You have not prayed. Okay. Uh, let, let, let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. It was glorious. It was great and beautiful. My director, through the help of this confraternity, got blind a month ago. I and only yours, truly, is now the director of this company. <laughs> this confraternity is the best, and I promise to bring at least one person in our next meeting. Good. Good. Good! That's a job well done. We'll be expecting your promise. Chief Body, it is now your turn to share your testimony. <coughs> well, I'm the richest man in my town right now. The boy has been sued so gloriously. I'm not just rich, I am stinking rich. But my Lord Spiritual, I want to be stupendously rich. Can you pay the price? Chief Body, I said, can you pay the price? Ah, I have paid the price. He should be in my house within the next 45 minutes. And he should die in the next 45 minutes. Uh, this is the kind of sacrifice I believe that you will love. Yeah, he's not just a rich man alone. He also uses his wealth, his money to help the poor. So his death is going to pain the poor. I make my Lord spiritual. Number two, he has brought so many souls into the kingdom of God. This will not make everyone happy. Rather, it will make you happy. Because his death is a minus to the workforce that heaven taught they had on earth. Hmm. He will die today. Good. Good, Chief Holly. Hmm. 
hope. This promise you just made will not be a pile in the air. It will not be a pile in the air because the girls are excited already. Their mouth is open, ready to suck blood. Ready to suck blood. Ready to suck blood. Okay, okay. Uh, you said one is one fifty thousand, then two hundred thousand, uh, and the other one is four hundred thousand naira. <laughs> you are asking me which one should I go for? I would prefer that of four hundred thousand naira. Yes. Uh -huh. How much is one point six million? <laughs> well, go away, Jare. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will call you back. Honey. Yes. Uh, have you prepared the chicken? Mm, yes, I've done so. Oh great. Mm -hmm. yes. And did you remember to sprinkle the poison? Yes, dear. I sprinkled the chicken and the rice with the poison. That's good. You need the fast killing poison. Hmm? Um <coughs> Yeah. It will be well with you, Abami. You know what? Um, as soon as the man is dead, you would uh, remove the necessary parts and then dispose the other body. Yes, yes sir. Uh, um, tell the guys that I would give them hundred thousand. Ha, Babami, thank you, man. Yes, as soon as the thank job you, is done, you. As soon as the job is done, you, 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 you can go. Can go. But, um, uh, I think you will soon be here. Calm down. Ah. Uh, Calm down now. We will get him. Alright, just give him a minute. Calm down. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I am the wife of Chief Body. One of the richest men in this state. Who is to become the next governor of the state? Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Deliver my husband! He won't die! Every plan of the enemy against my husband shall be He's about to enter, but he's reluctant. Calm down. He will soon enter. Ah. 
Fara ba le oko mi akan le kun wole nsin. He's about to knock the door. He's about to knock the door. <laughs> My husband must not die. My husband must not die. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm so happy that you, you, you invited me to come. <laughs> so happy, very very happy. Well, um, <coughs> we 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 don't even know what to offer you. We we have sweet wine in the freezer, Abby. Sweet non-alcoholic wine, Abby. Yeah. Chido, Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And then there's rice and chicken that my wife made. I mean, spicy chicken <laughs> just for you, Lord. Customized for you. But why not let's go into action first? Let's let's let's, let's share. Let's share the, the word of God. Let's 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 open our Bible and share the word of God. More so, I'm not. I mean, I don't want to eat anything or drink anything now. I'm full. My primary concern is the word of God. Sir, no. This shows that you are still holding on to the heart of the past. You, you didn't forgive me, Abi. Not at all. Not in the least. <laughs> you see, uh, you cannot reject what we are offering you. Jesus even said that if you go uh, to share the gospel and you are presented anything, he said we should gladly eat it. Uh -uh. You see, you, you cannot reject what we are offering you, what we, did, what we said before you. No. You are correct. Uh, well, well, I will eat, but just a little. A little. A little. I want to do the Can we proceed to the dining?
Yes, sir. Madam? And yes, sir. You are in long time to eat my food. And you will seriously enjoy my meal too. <laughs> I know. I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your hospitality. Yes, sir. Thank you. I will soon eat now. Thank you, eh? Hello, sweetheart. Where are you? I'm still in Mr. Odi's house. As a matter of fact, we have not even started talking. You have not started your discussion. What have you been doing then? Um, um, I, I said, what have you been doing? We are actually, we are actually uh, preparing to talk. But we have been talking. Talking? About what? Okay, what are you doing right now? Um, I will tell you the details when I get home. Dear, I'm feeling that you should just stop whatever you are doing right now and come back home, please. Please, just come back home at this point. Please, please. But this is the point of this family's salvation. This is the point of their salvation, my dear. The devil goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Eh, dear, please be vigilant. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because vigilance is a supreme sacrifice for freedom. Please, I shall be expecting you at home. Please, as soon as possible. I shall be home sooner than your son. <laughs> What's happening here? You are not eating your chicken. Why? This chicken will grow old, and you know that chicken is actually a good source of protein. Yeah, I'm about to just call now. I will eat. I will eat. Uh, ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. But Jesus, mm. you know, the moment I finish eating, we'll talk about Jesus. Ah, Jesus, I'll be. Ah, no problem. We'll talk about Jesus when you are done. That salvation. Yes. Yes, sir. Jesus is Lord.
Madam? God bless you. You are a good cook. Wonderful cook. But we'll talk about Jesus, though. I want to see the doctor. Excuse me, ma. You can't just walk in here and demand to see the doctor. There are procedures to follow. What procedure? Okay, you fill a form, get a card number, and then wait till you get called in to see the doctor. Tell him hi, Rosemary, and then I want to see him for his own good. You don't, you, you don't need to scream, ma. Um, does he know you? Is he aware of your coming? I am not going to answer any of your questions. I will be here till five minutes. If after five minutes you don't allow me to see him, the consequence of your action will be severe. May I tell you that your time is counting now? Hello, sir. There is somebody here to see you, sir. No, no, sir, no. Okay, sir. Oh, okay, sir. All right. You may be going to see. I should go. This is good. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you finished your meal. I'm sure that you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I seriously enjoyed it. You seriously enjoyed it? Yes, madam. Thank you very much. <laughs> Praise God. The Lord is good. You enjoy my food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry. I just felt it is passing. It's passing. Sorry about that. Don't worry. Things are too soon. It can't be anything serious. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you. I actually brought you. There is no other, no dimension, no power that is as powerful as our power in this confrontality. Should you put the life of my sister on the line because of your greediness? We are talking about my only sister here, my blood sister for that matter. Bode, what have gone over you? Have you gone nuts? God wants you to be more prayerful, careful, and be watchful. <laughs> Ejama <laughs> <laughs> 